24 hours at the world's largest gas station, Bucky's. Now I'm going to try my hardest in this. I'm going to try my hardest to call it a gas station because in the UK we do call it a petrol station. But it's in America, so we've got to call it a gas station. Very interested to see what exactly is in this gas station. For it to be the world's largest, it's got to be, it's got to be good. It's got to be good. So yeah, I'm very excited to check out this video. Just before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. It massively helps out the channel we're growing. But yeah, let's just get into it and press play. We are about to spend the next 24 hours living at the world's largest gas station. Wow. Right. We're going to be eating all three meals here and seeing what the Bucky's hype is all about. Mm. I'm looking forward to this. We're Karen Nate. After spending four years traveling the world full time and documenting our journey to 100 countries, 2020 brought us back to the US. Okay. Where we bought a converted Sprinter van that we're using as our tiny home on wheels to explore mm. all 50 states. While celebrating my birthday in a <laughs> castle just north of Austin, <laughs> we realized we were just a short drive away from the world's largest gas station. So we moved mm. out of the castle and made the two hour drive to New Braunfels. If you've ever taken a road trip through Texas, there's a good chance that you've seen this cartoon beaver on a sign or two. He's the mascot for Bucky's, which is the oh, chain okay. of gas station convenience stores located across the state. But these aren't your typical gas stations. They say everything is bigger in Texas and Bucky's truly is Texas size. This comparison might offend some Texans, but I'm picturing if Walmart and a gas station had a baby, you get Bucky's. And out of okay. all 36 Bucky's located across the state, the one that we're driving to now is the biggest. But it's not just the biggest Bucky's, right. it is the largest gas station convenience store in the entire world. Wow. It looked big on the internet, wow. but it looks bigger in real life. Golly, look at all of these gas pumps. Hmm. Ow! Sorry, I hit my ankle bone. How many pumps? This place has 120 gas pumps, and the convenience wow. store is 67,000 square feet. That's mad. Plus, there are over a thousand parking places. But it's not just the mm. size that makes Bucky's special. Apparently, the food is pretty good too. They have everything from Bucky's branded candy to barbecue sandwiches. Bucky's oh, has a bit nice. of a cult following here in Texas. Seems like everyone we know who has been to Texas, lives in Texas, or has lived in Texas, loves Bucky's and told us we had to come here. So I'm excited okay, to see what yeah. the hype's all about. So, in order to get the full Bucky's experience, we have decided to live here in the parking lot for the next 24 hours. Mm. We're gonna be eating all three meals here and in between trying some of their famous snacks. All right, first impressions, I'm already blown away by how many ice freezers there are. Okay. One, two, Seven, eight, 25, right. 34, and that's, that's a lot. 35, oh. 62, 63, 60. Wow, that's mad. Freezers. <laughs> Here we go. It's, it's, huge. it's huge. It's massive, and there are one million beaver faces. <laughs> oh, I love these chocolate peanut clusters. We don't have enough room in the van for all this stuff. There are at least 20 different colors and sizes of Bucky's coolers. Bucky's is stylish. I don't even oh, sell clothes. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, he even has a beaver tail. Oh my gosh, we can put this in the van. Why do we need that for the van? If you're not out of bed by the time that this is done, I'm leaving without you. I hated it and now I love it. <laughs> I feel like I'm at Target. We have clothes, candles, lotions, picture frames. I'm hungry. Let's get some lunch. Yeah. I'm interested about food. They're warm. This is all homemade fudge. Oh, nice. Can I get a piece of this dark chocolate caramel sea salt? Anything else? That'll be it. Thank you so much. Our first Bucky's purchase. Oh, sweet home. Oh. That had a quarter for every time good. I did that. If we're being honest, I don't think I've ever bought hot food at a gas station. I've got to admit, I'm going into this very skeptical. It is a gas station. How good can the food be? Because I've never, I've never been to a gas station that has good food. So yeah, I am. I'm very curious to see how good it is. Before, just never. never also, 
Also, if you've been here, let me know in the comments what you thought of the food. Let me know whether you thought it was good, whether you thought it was average. Yeah, I'll be very curious to know. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. I really trusted it, but Bucky's, we actually watched them pull the brisket out of the oven, put it on a chopping block, chop oh, it up, okay. and put it on the sandwich. Hey, brisket on the board. Hey, brisket on the board. <laughs> oh. Do you do that every time? I love that. It smells amazing. Wow. So if you want to get it the freshest, if you want to get it the freshest, you just got to hang about a little bit until you hear them do that. And then you know you can go over and get the best part or the most freshest part, I suppose. Yeah. So yeah, that's interesting. First gas station meal. Mmm. And good. Tender, juicy. Mm. Some of the best barbecue sauce. It does look good. Tasted. I am super mm. impressed. I think we're going to gain 10 pounds in the next 24 hours. Wow. Also, we got a bag of beaver chips. Apparently, they make these fresh every day. 129. Mmm. So crunchy, salty. I just love how you can see, like, they literally sliced a potato and fried it. Mmm. Delicious. And for dessert, we got some homemade fudge. Ooh. What dark Ooh. chocolate caramel sea salt. That does look homemade good. Homemade fudge from a gas station. Oh my god, it's so good. You even get like the crunch of the sea salt. I'm very picky about my chocolate fudge. And this is one of the best I've ever had. Buckies. Buckies. Wow. We really have the perfect setup to taste test our way through Bucky's today. One interesting thing is with all of their food options, they don't have any indoor seating. So oh, it's really? all grab and go. We're surrounded by people eating in their car right now, but <laughs> I don't think anybody else has a kitchen table in the back. Yeah. Man, like, Hello. That makes it so much better. Well, that Shot, went by so. way too fast. No we tables inside. We were a little inside. overwhelmed by all of Bucky's food options, so we consulted the internet to figure out what we couldn't miss before we leave. Okay. And we found this interview with the food director of all of the Bucky's, and he had his top 10 recommendations, which we wrote on the back of this fudge bag. This is our new goal for the next 24 hours, to eat all 10 of these things before we mm. leave. Thankfully, we've already marked off three, and I'm sure we're gonna add a few more things to the list. Back Still when we were traveling over. internationally, it kind of became a thing for us to do bathroom tours, but I don't think I've ever done one in a public bathroom, so this might be a little awkward. Hmm. Apparently, Bucky's won an award for the best bathroom wow. at some point. I'm pretty impressed. It's huge, very clean, and so many stalls. Why is it so big? When this is included, and hand sanitizer in the bathroom. There were 25 urinals in the men's bathroom. Wow. <laughs> Too many to choose from. Skeet peppered beef jerky, ghost pepper, teriyaki beef, bohemian recipe garlic beef, steak out. Cherry mix. I've never tried jerky. I don't, well, I don't, I don't think I have anyway. So yeah, I'd be very curious as to taste it, to try it, to see what it's like really. Maple beef jerky, lemon pepper. But with the garlic. on the list, but I really want to try them. Oh. They smell so good. Oh, they look good. Oh, they're still warm. Mm. Bucky's even makes its own flavored soda. Okay. This might not seem that abnormal if you're from yeah, the that's US, massive. but I remember the first time we came back to the US after being abroad for a long time and just realizing how excessive it is to be able to buy an extra large sugary drink for... In the UK, there is nothing that big. There is nothing that big. That is huge. 79 cents. What? What's even crazier is 79. majority of the time there's free refills. We're embracing it today. I'm an extra large Coke. 79 cents. That is crazy. That is so cheap. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> this is so much. <laughs> it's mad. All right, let's check it out. We're from where too? We're from Nashville. We're trying to go to all 50 states in our van. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Everyone's so nice at Bucky's. Or maybe it's just Texas in general. All right, snack time. Too many beaver bags. All right, 
Round two is snacks. These beaver nuggets are probably the thing that I've heard most about. I think these are like the one thing that you can't come to Bucky's without trying is the yeah. original beaver nuggets. Woo! This Ooh. is some strong smelling beef jerky. That does not smell like it needs to mix with beaver nuggets. Ooh! I have never had <laughs> garlic beef jerky before. <laughs> oh, this smells like cereal. So if you can only imagine the smells going on in this van right now. <laughs> mm. Oh, really good. That is not what I was expecting. Really? You would hate this. It's way too sweet for you. <laughs> Nate loves sweet things. And I do not, which is why I'm eating the garlic beef jerky. It's like a mix between kettle corn and Captain Crunch. If you poured oh, okay. this in a bowl of milk and ate it with a spoon, that would be so good. Mm. Like it just kind of disappears. The outside is super crunchy uh -huh. and then it fades into nothingness on the inside. And just like... All right, these are the roasted oh, nuts. They were actually making these in the store. They look really good. Those were the best. Yeah. These are addictive. Mm, wow. There's a lot of sugar. Too much. Oh, definitely not. It might be my favorite thing in Bucky's so far. Really? Yeah, better wow. than Bucky's. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna make myself sick. <laughs> okay, so those were the three things that were on our list. These were just two extra things we thought looked fun. Not just looked fun. I think this is what I was most excited to try at Bucky's. They kind of smell like fish food. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I had really high it expectations. Wasn't this a was good my fault. smell when I opened it for sure. So my grandmother makes these spicy saltine crackers, and I thought that I found a packaged version of those. They are my favorite thing that Mamma makes, and I thought that that's what we were gonna get, but they don't smell the same. Oh, they taste a lot better than they smell. They taste like the spicy cheese it mix. Not my mm. most crackers, but still pretty good. Let's rank that the snacks. That drink is so big. I'm gonna say pecans, beef jerky, mm -hmm. beaver nuggets, okra, sizzling saltine crackers, just because they don't compare to our grandmothers. It's not you, it's us. <laughs> I need one more piece of crackers. Oh, don't breathe. <laughs> So like three weeks ago, before I even knew we were coming here to film this video, I was listening to a podcast about a guy who was reselling Bucky snacks at a premium oh, wow. on his website. So he had started a, an entire business just reselling Bucky snacks to That's Texans crazy. who didn't live in Texas anymore. Did he say what his best seller? So I could get it sent over to me? Or is that like, it's only going to be in the US, isn't it? But I'd be interested to have something from Bucky sent to me. I would be curious to try the fins, like maybe maybe the main couple of fins that they've got there, the snacks. That would be good. There was probably quail eggs. Spicy pickled eggs. Oh, oh even quail eggs. Is that a thing? <laughs> this is the biggest, and they're not allowed. That's interesting. Oh, so you can order it fresh. Wow. Oh, they're three ninety nine. We're number four seventy. Four seventy? Oh. Yeah, that's you right there. Go for it. Actually, changed clothes and they wouldn't start recognizing us. <laughs> All right, we've now been here for eight hours. So they got served really quick there. At first, I thought, yeah. They're gonna have a weight by just the look on her face, but then when they said their order number, that was like a hundred different, and and they got served too. Wow. Two minutes later. Then it is time for dinner. I am surprisingly hungry for dinner, believe it or not. We did not hold back. Oh, wow. This is a small fry. Wow. <laughs> is it bigger than my face? Mm. 148. Okay. The next two things on our list are probably not what I personally would have chosen, but it's what the food director said to get. We are having a Reuben sandwich. Wow, a mm. juicy Reuben sandwich on a pretzel. That looks good as well. Wow. Oh, we got jalapenos on there. I think there's some cheese. Whatever they do to pastrami to make the ends of it crunchy like that, I really like. If I had to choose between the brisket we had for lunch and the Reuben we're having for dinner, I'd get the brisket. Which surprises me to say, because all my favorite toppings are on the Reuben. But it was so good. It was so good. All right, the last thing on our list for tonight is Bucky's banana pudding. My uncle owns a barbecue restaurant. Okay. He makes really good banana pudding. I'm keeping my expectations in check for this. Wow. Let me take a second bite before I pass judgment. 
it's good. If my uncle's banana pudding is a 10, this is an eight. I think the ratio mm. of whipped cream to pudding is slightly off. I've never had it. Never had banana pudding. So the plan was to sleep in the Bucky's parking lot because they're open 24 hours a day, but we talked to one of the employees and he told us there was no overnight parking. The parking lot was checked by police, so we come to Okay. Day. Good old Walmart. Okay, so if you're doing a road trip in America, you can get away with going to Walmart and parking up there. Is that true then? All right, so this technically isn't 24 hours at Bucky's, but we'll be back first thing in the morning for breakfast tacos and whatever the sausage things are. And coffee. And coffee. Coffee. Oh, he's wearing the outfit. Oh, he's gonna go in the shop do. like it. <laughs> I can't wear the hood inside. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I, I don't think I could do that. I love it. It's so cute. This is the most self conscious I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> oh. Is that the coffee? One dollar and seven cents to fill up this entire mug. No. That is huge. Enough. That's like a lifetime supply of coffee. Here you go. Yeah. I love the Thank you so much. Oh, he really wanted me to do that. He was brave for doing that. My discomfort made a lot of people smile this morning. Oh, take our picture. <laughs> Bucky and Bucky. I really can't believe I talked him into it either. <laughs> it's the tail that okay. gets me. <laughs> Stop looking at my tail. <laughs> All right, time to eat some breakfast. That is there so big. <laughs> Thank you. Looks heavy. All right, last two things on the list. Oh, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast taco with added mm. potatoes. Mm. I can barely hold this with one hand. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> I really did. I just love the tacos are a thing for breakfast. How's the coffee? It's pretty gas station -y coffee, but it's hot. <laughs> There's plenty of it. I told you it was hot. It's enough coffee to last you a week. <laughs> I won't be able to taste this next thing. <laughs> All right, the last thing on the list. Sausage kolaches. Okay. Sausage kolaches. My assumption is there is sausage and pepper jack cheese inside of this dinner roll. <laughs> it's a lot of bread. Oh. Okay. I think we had this in Ukraine. Mm, is think... that what that guy came and ate? With the hammer? Mm-hmm. Why's the guy got a hammer? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, nice wow. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> what just happened? It's basically a hot dog with <laughs> okay. a closed up bun. You want to try this? Better than it looks. Mm -hmm. All right. Favorite food at Bucky's. I'm going to go with the chopped brisket sandwich. That did look good. Mm. I think the candy nuts were my favorite. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we did it. The Bucky's top 10 and all three meals. I get the hype. So if you've been to Bucky's, let me know what your favorite thing is when you go there. What your go-to thing is when you've gone there, yeah? If we pass another one, I'm stopping. Especially now that we have this big mug. <laughs> Cheers. It spent $50. This is what our life has come to. I'm not that sad about it. In like middle school, I'm pretty sure we had these at school. We would go through and put every Still single believe. soda in one cup and call it a suicide. 79. American kids 
Is it your favorite thing ever? I thought it was going to be like Drink a salty big. sweet deal, but... The first ingredient is brown sugar. <laughs> Maybe don't read the rest of the ingredients. Just enjoy them. Enjoy an ignorant. Man. Very interesting video. It was good to see how big that gas station was. That is crazy. Like, I, I can't even remember what she said now. Like, over 120 pumps or something. That's crazy. And the food, the food actually looked good. F especially for being in a gas station. I, I mean, you don't expect food to be good in a gas station, surely. But it actually did look really good. And the fact that they announce it when it's fresh as well. So you can kind of hang about and try and get in there when you've got the most freshest part. Really good video, really enjoyed that. It was good to find out what Bucky's is like. When I do go to Texas, that's gonna have to be on the list. It's gonna have to be on the list for me to go to. But thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button. It massively helps out the channel we're growing. But for now, I'll see you on the next reaction.